So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in troubleshoot settings. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you're gonna click on other troubleshooters. And then you wanna find the networking internet troubleshooter. Click on run. And now this will come up. If there's any problems, it will tell you how to fix it. And now for the next step, you're gonna head over to search and type in view network connections. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you just wanna take notes of your network adapter name. So mine's called Intel R Pro 1000. So now you wanna head over to search again and type in device manager. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to expand network adapters and then you want to find the same network adapter that you took a note of the name of. So this is the same one for me. You want to right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on browse my computer for drivers and then click on everything from a list. And now you want to install the one that you think is most applicable. So for me, in my case, it's gonna be this one, the first one. I'm gonna click on next and install this and then click on close. If it asks you to restart your computer, do not restart it yet to complete the next steps in the video. Do not restart your computer yet. Now for the next step, you're going to head over to search and type in settings. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you're going to click on network and internet. And then you're going to click on advanced network settings. And now you're going to click on advanced sharing settings. And now you're going to make sure that you have network discovery turned on. And now for the next step, you're going to head over to search and type in services. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on any service and then click on D on your keyboard. You want to scroll down until you find DNS client. You want to double click on it. You want to make sure that the service status is running and the service type is automatic. It should let you edit it. So to make it running, you want to click on start. And to make it automatic, you want to click on the box right here. And then some options are going to come up. You want to click on automatic and then click on OK. Now you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.